Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Also check out Discord if you like that. Uh, here we are. We created this state, state class, and now we can push states from states, which is a pretty good thing, right? Um, but for this to work, we actually need a state that is not the base state class. So we need to create another new class in this states folder, and I'm going to call it main menu state. All right. Uh, or we could do do like this. I'll just call it state underscore or state main menu. Make it a little easier to see what's going on. Okay, you can do it however you want it. I'll, I'll call it state main menu. All good. Okay, class, class state main menu uh, will inherit from state. And there's no argument given that corresponds to the required formal parameter states. All right, cool. So now it's complained because we need to create a, a constructor and call it public state and then stack state states okay and then we're gonna write base that's how you do it base state states so we're gonna send in that into our base class so what's gonna happen is this states variable is gonna be set from this constructor as soon as it's called the base thing is going to be set and we're going to be good we're going to be good to go so this is going to be our first state and we're going to just do a little console the right line hello from main menu okay and we should be able to push a main menu state onto the stack uh, so instead of a new state, we're going to do a state main menu here. Hopefully that should work. Uh, let's see. C sharp console. Okay, that is part of states. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want it to be part of the same namespace. All right, cool. So now we, we can push that main menu state onto this beautiful thing. Hello from main menu state. Hello from the game class. Write a number. Good. Good, good. So now that is working. So hopefully you followed me on that. What happened? Uh, this is just going to be the base class. Nothing special. We can have different variables in here, but whatever. This is the first main menu state. Now we can add another class called state game state. State game. Or state game, whatever. We'll just call it state game. And our state game is also derived from state okay and this is also gonna have a state game constructor which does the exact same thing as main menu so stack state states and then we're gonna call the base classes constructor with that variable and we're good to go. And then we're just going to do a console dot right line. Hello from game state. Like that. Okay, it was very, very, very simple. And you just want to remove that dot states at the end because you don't want that, even though it's derived from that. Uh, so now we have two different states that we can push on. All right. Uh, this I'm gonna do like this as well uh, hold on there we go okay good now I want to push a state from the main menu and that's gonna be the game state and I'm gonna do a push this states um, dot push new state game states 
And if I run this, we're going to get a loop again. No, it did. It did exactly what I wanted. So hello from... No, wait. Game state? Was that correct? Yeah, that was correct. Hello from main menu. Hello from game state. That's exactly what I wanted. Main menu. Whatever. Cool. All right. So that works, guys and girls. Let me see if I'm recording. Yep. Good. So now we have two states that we can play with. I can remove the console printouts. And I can remove this push. Now we know that we can push stuff from states. So that is good. That is good. Now, what is the next step? Well, we're going to need to print out stuff and make some way for us to render things. Okay, we can't just have this. We need a class that contains rendering information and stuff. Some ways that we can render out some simple things. Um, and to do that, what I want to do is I want to create a new... Whoops. I don't want that. I want a new class. Completely new class. Called... Uh, GUI. Or GUI. And it's going to contain some stuff that we can use to print out information about things. Now, not only having the class is enough, I want a folder as well to contain some GUI information. I'm just going to put that in there. Good. So we have our GUI. And what is this going to print? Well, uh, GUI public GUI. We're going to have to think about this a little bit and how that's going to work. But let's start off with a with a simple variable, public or private string. Um, let's see. Let's call it header. Very simple. And we're going to do a public string header with a get and a set for this. Get. Set return this header and this header equals value. All right, so now we have a getter and setter for that, um, which is nice. And in the constructor, we're just going to say this header equals welcome to the game and we might want a new line let's see how this is going to be set up so it's going to be a welcome to the game new line uh, plus let's see Mm, maybe we'll have some kind of divider like that. And then a new line again. There we go. So that's pretty much our header. And then we can get the header and we can render it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a public void render. Simple function. That's going to render our stuff. So console right line header good uh, and we'll probably have some kind of other function here render header and stuff but we'll see we'll see how this pans out um, but just to start it off I'm gonna go into game and I'm gonna create a new GUI class here or new GUI variable private GUI GUI and then of course a private function to initialize it GUI this GUI equals new GUI boom 
simple as that. And then before we write a number, I'm just going to do gy.render and run that. So let's see if that renders whatever I want it. No, it won't do that because I didn't call that function this init gy. Don't forget to call that. I always do that and I always get these weird errors. Okay, so welcome to the game, write a number 23, but now it's going to keep printing that out. So we're going to have to solve that somehow, but at least we have a class where we can put all those things into. All right, guys, girls, that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you understood everything with the state and the game class or the state game and state main menu. Also the render GUI stuff. Uh, as we go along, I'm pretty sure you'll understand it even better, but try to experiment, try to play around with it. And yeah, good luck. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.